CNBC's Mark Haynes. Uh, first, we're going to do a clip of him talking to Democratic Representative uh, Sh Sherman. And uh, he's going to tell uh, the representative, and he's going to tell us, that you can't run Wall Street on, you know, the kind of money that these congressmen are talking about. You can't live in bonuses. What are you talking about, man? It does not go far enough, sir. Absolutely. It doesn't deal with the Merrill Lynch bonuses since they were paid in December. And worse than that, it doesn't deal with million dollar a month salaries. More importantly, we should have AIG in receivership. They should have been put in receivership months ago. We need receivership and we need limits on salaries as well as bonuses. Well, receivership would have, I think most people agree, that would have caused some systemic problems. Well, most people on Wall Street agree, but uh, most people on Main Street do not. And what uh, of the people on Main Street know about running a financial system. What does the AIG executives know about running a financial system? A lot more they only know the how to destroy on one. Uh, you know, this, this, is, this is witch huntery. Now, I'll be perfectly honest with you. Uh, you we know, don't have to hunt you're, the witches. You're, you're, we know who they are. You and people who share your opinions seem to feel that, you know, let, let's hold salaries on Wall Street to $100,000. Do you have any idea what Wall Street would look like if you did that? Well, first of all, I wouldn't set the limit at 100000 well, Second, whatever, 250 well, Obama's I mean, position. All the business would Obama's go overseas. Position, That's the bottom line. Obama's position is five hundred thousand dollars plus unlimited restricted stock. That's where I am as well. Although I was actually at a higher level before Obama's statement. Uh, but for you to assume that uh, Wall Street is acting in the national interest flies in uh, in the face of recent reality. I mean, can you smell the arrogance from that guy? I mean, it just oozes how to, what would Wall Street look like? you have any idea what it would look like if we made as much money or as little money as the rest of you plebeians, you peasants? A hundred thousand? Ho, 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 ho! First of all, listen, get, get it straight. It, what, no bill is limiting any executive compensation to a hundred thousand dollars. You're just making that up, okay? They're capping their bonuses, okay, if they get TARP money. So if the taxpayers are their new investors, the new investors set rules. Does that happen uh, in business? Of course it does. If you don't know that, Mark Haynes, you should be fired because you don't know a thing about business. New investors get to set the new rules and get to set executive compensation limits all the time. If you don't know that, you're a moron. Okay? Now, uh, he's going to tell Sherman, huh, what would Main Street know about how to run Wall Street? <laughs> Well, what the hell? Brad Sherman got it exactly right. What the hell does Wall Street know about it? AIG executives. Oh, we absolutely need them. He says, oh, Mark Haynes says, they know a lot better than Main Street does. Do they? If they know so much, why did they just lose $99 billion last year? Why did they break a world record for amount of money they lost in a quarter, last quarter of 2008? Why did they do that if they know so much? Can I find somebody from Main Street to run AIG better? Hell yes! You can't run it any worse! I mean, not only did they bankrupt their own company, which you would think would be as bad as possible, but they might have pulled down the entire global economy with it. Can I find somebody on Walt Main Street to run it better? Hell yeah! Hell yeah! And he, it's as if he doesn't understand that there are actually businessmen throughout the whole country that aren't in Wall Street. What, there aren't entrepreneurs, there aren't local banks, there aren't local businesses that know something about business. No, please, they're all peasants. If they don't live with Mark Haynes and his butt buddies on Wall Street, well, then they don't know anything. What would this place look like if we only paid a couple hundred thousand dollars? Please, no. Because the, the arrogant mindset is we are the masters of the universe. We need to be incredibly highly compensated no matter what disaster we've caused. I mean, look, I thought it, it, Representative Edwards was absolutely pleasant to him there. I, I mean, this smug guy telling us that we don't know what we're doing when he doesn't know what the hell he's doing. And all of his buddies on Wall Street don't know what they're doing. And he says, oh, no, taking AIG into receivership. Well, I checked with all my buddies on Wall Street. They were not in favor of that because then they wouldn't get paid all the money that AIG is funneling to them, whether they deserved it or not. Yeah, shocking that Wall Street's not in favor of that. You know why? This is the right solution. And that way they don't get to keep rob robbing us blind. But Mark Haynes is not done yet. we got another clip for you guys. And uh, this time he's going to talk about how scary executive pay limits are. Ooh. On the other hand, I, I think it's in, you're getting into trouble when you try and regulate from Washington. Uh, 
what uh, the capitalistic system should decide, and that is what people are worth. All right. Thank you very much, sir. Appreciate it. Of course, that's something that's going to come up uh, later this week. The U.S. is going to talk about regulations for all executives and all compensation as opposed to... There were some scary stories in the paper over the weekend yeah, mm -hmm. about this kind of thing, regulating or some impacting executive pay. Right. Even among companies, financial companies that didn't take government money, and I mean, it's getting scary. Yes, and uh, we do ask Mr. Geithner about that today. <laughs> yeah, you sound... They're, they're scared. And you know what? I'm glad you're scared. It's about time you got scared. That your fat ass isn't going to continue to make gobs of money for no goddamn reason at all. Now, Mark Haynes doesn't make money from Wall Street, but what he does is he protects the guys on Wall Street, and that's why he get paid, gets paid so much money. He, he's their, you know, their protector, their defense shield. His job is to get out there and say Wall Street is awesome, they've done a terrific job, ignore everything else, and limit their executive compensation. Oh no! Heaven forfend! And by the way, he made that up. Is he claimed that there are some stories about how uh, they're going to limit all executive compensation, whether it's people, uh, that companies that took taxpayer money or not? Where did you get that from? What's your source, Mark? Because there is no such story. You made that up. Okay? And then uh, I love their guest that they brought on. Uh, shocking that CNBC has a lackey guest. Uh, he says, huh, I know it sounds really bad that they're going to regulate from Washington. Really? Where would they regulate from if they didn't regulate from Washington? That's their job, right? No, but the thing is, these guys on Wall Street, they don't want any regulation. They don't want any rules. They want to be able to rob you blind because they're the present day robber barons. The more I find out about them, the angrier I get because they've set up the system where there are no rules and they're just funneling the money all into their accounts. And then they say, oh, no, 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 the government shouldn't interfere. We're doing such a great job over here. Listen, I might have listened to that bull if you didn't sink the entire global economy. But now that you have, we all know you're full of crap. So please spare me about how you know better and that Washington sh shouldn't set the rules. It's kind of like saying, where do these refs get off calling fouls? But that's their job. And if they didn't call any fouls, you jackhammer people and you clothesline them. So what kind of sense does that make? doesn't make any sense at all.